Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on creating sun rays or crepuscular rays in Terrigen. This can be a really cool and dramatic effect in a scene, made possible by Terrigen's realistic atmosphere model. However, that same realistic atmosphere can make the effect difficult to achieve on demand. Today we'll cover a few tips for giving you the best chance of catching some nice rays. The first thing to realize is that sun rays are actually shadows in the atmosphere. That means that you need something to cast a shadow, such as a sharp edge of cloud or terrain, and something to cast shadows into, such as fog or haze. We'll start out in our scene by creating a thicker atmosphere for our shadows to fall into. Let's raise the haze density to 4, and we'll increase the haze exponential height to 5000. Now we need something to cast shadows. We'll add a large cumulus cloud layer and raise these up quite a bit higher into the sky so we have a lot of space for the shadows to fall through the haze. Let's take these all the way to 8500. I'm also going to increase the cloud depth to compensate for the increased height and increase the coverage. What we want is mostly clouds covering the sky, with a few holes for the light to poke through. That should do. Next, we'll increase the sharpness of the clouds a lot, to give us a nice edge to cast a shadow, and we'll bump the cloud density up just a bit as well. The next thing we're going to do is to move the sun right up to the edge of one of these holes. and we should start to see some sun rays peeking through into our haze. Now, if you want to get more rays, one trick is to pop over into the Cloud Optimization tab and uncheck the Use Voxels for Shadows box. This will often increase the light bursting through, but sometimes it's too much, so try both and choose your favorite. Leaving it unchecked does increase render times. Now, a couple more tips. The first is that sun rays are a pretty demanding atmospheric effect. So to get smooth rays without noise, you'll want to come into the Atmosphere Quality tab and increase the number of samples up to 124 or even 256. The next tip is that if you want to use a mountain or other object to cast shadows instead of a cloud, you'll need to check the Receive Shadows from Surfaces box. Otherwise, you won't get any shadows from your terrain. And that's about it. Light rays in Terrigen are a tricky effect, and it can take lots of trial and error to get them to look exactly how you want them, but they can look magnificent when you do. And hopefully this gets you off to a head start. Good luck!